Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Jana Maria and I'm here to do some positive messages for all star signs. I've done two videos so far. Um, I seem to get some <laughs> some kind of background noise there, so I've had to stop it twice. But um, let's carry on. Uh, please watch my first video on uh, on my uh, healing positive messages on the coronavirus situation. Um, whenever you're watching this, if, if that applies to you at the moment. But other than that, these messages are timeless. They might, um, you know, touch up on the situation of the virus, but if not, then they are timeless. So next I've got Libra. So I've got five decks in front of me. Let's see what message Libra needs to hear at this moment. Uh, fairies. I've got the Oracle of the Fairies by Karen Kay here. So what's the message for Libra from this deck? Let's see. What's the message for Libra? Yeah, it's gone that way. So that will be the message. Oh. Precious time. It says, the fairy of time wants you to experience every moment fully and to make the most of your precious time. Be mindful not to waste others' time either. Well, at the moment, I think this is a, a good message for all of us to, to make. Make the most of our times when we are... Um, in a situation like we are at the moment, um, make every minute count with your your family that you can be with. Uh, we are said, we are advised to be social distancing. So, so um, some of you might be alone there, and I'm sending this message to you to the ones that are specifically alone. Um, Try and see this time as, as a time of self-reflection, of trying to get to know yourself better. See what what kind of things you could do to, to really fully know yourself. Um, for myself, I'm a huge fan of um, astrology, numerology, um, all, all kind of things that, you know, I can, I can see what what could be the reason for my behavior or what could be the reason for the kind of um, cycle I'm in at the moment. There's so many things. Um, have a look at Michael teachings or for soul development if you're interested. Um, this is the time for, for you to to really fully understand who you are as a person. This is a specific message I'm getting for some Libras out there. Um, other than that, um, for those who, who are with their families, make the most of this time as, as you know, you'll probably never get so much time with your family again, so so do the things you can together as family, at home, bake, um, spend time in the garden, play games together. Just just spend the time together and get to know yourself, uh, know know each other again. Um, if if some of you have you know had some issues where you have started to feel distant from your family members, then this is probably a good time to to come together again and and you know be there for each other. So that's that's the message I'm getting for Libra at the moment. Thank you, angels. And next I'm going to move on to Scorpio. So what is the message for Scorpio Angels? What deck, first of all? What deck am I going to use? Okay, that one. So I've got the Whispers of Love 
for Scorpio. Let's see what this is for Scorpio at this moment from Angels. Yeah, that one wants to come out. Oh, <laughs> time for romance for some of you. Is it time for romance for some of you, Scorpios out there? Lavish the one you love with personal attention and affection. Well, especially if you're in a lockdown situation, <laughs> then it's time to to get romantic with your loved one if you are in this together. See what new ways you can come up with to, to show your love for each other. Um, and for some others, this might be a time if, if you have to spend a lot of time outside, um, I mean inside, um, then you know you might find some online romance just be careful obviously with uh, whoever you're talking to but I, I get uh, some online romances happening for maybe some of you some Scorpios out there and just romance yourself really pamper yourself um, Say how say say positive things to yourself. Um, just um, be loving to yourself, to everyone. Obviously, at this moment, but always, especially, show love for yourself. So that's the message I'm getting for Scorpios. Quite a beautiful, beautiful card, and the number is twenty-five there. So those number. Numbers two and five might mean something to you, or or seven. Two, five, or seven might be important numbers for you. So I'm going to move on to Sagittarius next. What message is for Sagittarius, angels, please? Which deck? Got the mythical creatures affirmations. Okay, this is for Sagittarius. Ah, oh, it's come very quickly like the fire sign that's itself <laughs> beautiful it says with persistence i can move mountains look at that unicorn unicorn earth energy there beautiful message yes you can certainly move mountains um just keep believing in yourself believing that you can go forward with no fear um, I know at the moment uh, everything's a little bit up in the air in the in the world everywhere but um, whatever situation you're in you've got this huge huge energy huge huge uh, strength in you wow I get get like this chest opening here at the moment i get this huge like oomph of strength coming for you and big goosebumps so that's uh the message from the angels for you that you have so much strength in you believe in yourself you can move mountains you got you got so much power I think that is short and sweet for you, Sagittarius. I don't need to go any further to that. Um, I got even a physical symptom from that, so <laughs> you can move mountains. Believe in yourself. And next I'm going to move on to Capricorn. What's the message for Capricorn, angels? What's the message for Capricorn? Mandal meditation deck. Okay. Let's see what Capricorns need to hear at this moment. What does Capricorn need to hear at this moment, Angel of Bliss? What does Capricorn need to hear? What's the positive message for Capricorn at this moment? What's the positive message for Capricorn? I keep getting wrong deck, wrong deck. So I'm going to put that down. I'm going to listen and and see what other deck. If that is the wrong deck, which one then? Uh, 
I'm going to use the same deck as for Sagittarius. This is a better deck, yes. Yes. Sorry, my dishwasher in the background is quite noisy. What does Capricorn need to hear then? It's flown upside down there. So that is the message for Capricorn. Beautiful. I am transforming my life in powerful ways. Dragon fire energy there. So for all of you Capricorns out there, you are transforming your life in power ways, powerful ways. Uh, I'm a Capricorn myself and that does speak to me. Um, I have been trying to transform my life for some time now. Or it is, uh, you know, transforming, I'm not trying, but it is transforming in powerful ways. Um, I feel the, the light work I, I keep doing, or at least want to do in the world, is, is transforming my own personal life, my own outlook in life. So maybe there are some other Capricorns out there who feel the need to do this kind of spiritual work, do light work, and that will help you to transform your, your whole life in in many ways, in many positive ways. So, yeah, just keep working. As Capricorns, we always keep working towards something. So, <laughs> whatever it is that you want to to achieve in life, whatever you feel that you want to make your mark in in this world, then this is is a good good message no wonder i've i was told this is the other deck wasn't right this message was meant to come out come out for us capricorns so yes fire energy there dragon energy just keep on working hard as as you always do and and your life will will transform for the for the better that's a good message for Capricorns. So I'm going to move on to Aquarius then next. What's the message for Aquarius angels? Okay, from the whispers of love for Aquarius. What's the message for Aquarius please? Whispers of love. What's the message for Aquarius? Whispers of love. Whispers of love. What is the whisper Aquarius needs to hear? Is there a little whisper of love for Aquarius? What's the whisper of love for Aquarius? That one that got stuck in my hand. Beautiful message. Love who you are. You are divine, delightful and deserving of the wonderful things life has to offer. That is beautiful. And number eight. Number eight is a number of abundance. Um, and for some of you it, it might personally mean something. So, um, yes, love who you are as you are. You know, you don't need to change yourself for anyone. You are good enough as you are. And and uh, there are so many, so many positive qualities that you have that you can, you can use in this situation in the world as well, in, in what we are in at the moment. Um, you know, you, you are beautiful souls you Aquarius is um, you've got so much wisdom so much intelligence so much calm peaceful energy about you that you can bring into the world and I think you are meant to be using them in in some specific specific way at, at the moment 
Um, that's what I'm getting. So whatever that means to you. And just, just remember how beautiful you are. There, there are little pictures here in this. There's a rainbow. There's uh, some kind of, I'm not sure if that's a tiger or a panther or something like that. Um, some buildings, a boat. Um, yes, a lot of uh, various different things kind of um, showing that there are many, many beautiful things about you that you don't even you you some of you don't recognize that's what i'm getting like like these hidden pictures they're like hidden inside of you all these qualities and use this time to to find those hidden qualities in you that's what i'm getting the hidden beautiful hidden things about you that even you had forgotten that exist so those are the little messages i'm getting for you aquarius so lastly i'm going to move on to pisces so let's see what positive message we have for pisces at this moment which deck fairies let's go for where fairies for pisces see what message we get for pisces what's the message for pisces please yes it's come flying. Oh, oh, that is beautiful. Light. Look at that word. The last card and it's light. The fairy queen of light comes to shed love and light onto your current situation and remind you that light can penetrate the darkness. I think that is for all of us at this moment. We need to believe that light will penetrate, penetrate darkness at this moment in this situation we are in. Need to keep believing that it's all happening for a bigger purpose. We need to, to stay in the light. Um, uh, if you haven't watched my first video, it said um, first video of, of tonight I'm, I did I've done a few now um, had to be broken down but it said um, to, when you when you hear the word corona think of light think that it brings healing and love to the world rather than anything negative and and it will start to kind of disappear the virus will start to disappear when we think of it as in positive terms, not negative. So bring light into this situation. I know you Pisces can do that with your beautiful energy and into your own life as well. There's all these beautiful rainbow colors here, pink specifically, pink, uh, pink and green specifically come from this picture to me. Um, you are the light, Pisces. You really are. So, um, I don't think I have any any more to add to that. So, thank you, angels, for all these messages that you have brought to us, and thank you for ending this reading with the most perfect card, which is light. I'm sending you lots of light and love. Um, I feel very emotional at the moment, but um, I have so much love for, for all of you out there, for everyone. And stay safe, stay in the light, don't let fear energy take over. Remember that you are loved, you are protected, and we will come out stronger than ever. We will fight, we will, you know be best versions of, of ourselves after all this is finished so so thank you for watching and i'm sending so much love and light to you thanks bye